Happy 2024, guys. I can't believe it's been that fast. I felt like 2023 just breezed through. And, well, I haven't created or shared much content in the past year. And I wanted to change that. So here's my first for the year. I know that I shared a 2024 Techo Kaigi. But I thought that it would be, I don't know, it would have been more clear if I showed you guys when it has stuff in it, when it's actually filled in and I can explain things better. Or maybe I could get suggestions from you on how I can make my plans better. I don't know, but maybe it could help like seeing actual content inside these planners and books that I use already. So I wanted to start with the basic planning first because I think this has not really changed over the past how many years. I've been using the Traveler's Notebook in case you're not familiar with it yet. I have the passport size and I have the regular size or standard size. It will seem like it's a repeat because I do plan in the standard more than the passport. I feel I feel like it's relaxing to rewrite things but also that I do like carrying smaller bags and having the passport with me with the actual plans. It's not going to be as detailed but I'll get into it when you see the difference. This has more detail than the passport one but it helps. So this is a traveler's passport. I think I've gone through this with you guys, but let me clear my stuff out first. I have a few things in this zipper pouch. I have this translucent uh, sticky note. I have these uh, stickers from Handmade Paper Crafts by Anyang. I have sticky tabs, notes, more tabs and notes, but yeah. This is the yearly insert for 2024. Not much decoration, but I like seeing this little Shih Tzu because it reminds me of my fat little dog who's asleep right now. And I intend to use this as a cash expense tracker or expense tracker. I'm still not sure how I'm going to go about it, but that's the whole idea. I couldn't decide if I wanted to change inks per month, but I wanted to be a little more creative than I was last year's. So now I'm trying out these little corner stickers. I got them from Handmade Paper Crafts by Anyang. Each corner sticker is, well, it reminds me that I have to be at work at that day because we're still following the hybrid setup. And luckily, we're still doing it and I hope for the foreseeable future it stays that way because it really helps save gas time and stress and all that but that's an entirely different story so I use these stickers as well as a reminder that I have to physically be in the office that day and I also have these little um, label holiday stickers if you can see it there these little holiday stickers are from Handmade Paper Crafts by Anyang also. So all throughout the year, I already like plotted those things onto the weeklies. Sorry, the monthlies. Now, it doesn't really look as different because everything is just the basic information here. So schedules, payments, things. So it's mostly schedules, payments, and places I have to be at. Yeah, events. And it has been fairly easy for me to see, especially like since this month is done, when you look at January, it's not entirely filled out yet. I'm filming this on the 7th in the morning. And you can see it's really bare as opposed to how it will look like completely filled out. But these little corner stickers, it really, really helps me like figure out the days that I have work. And it's so easy to just look and not have to read anything. So it's 
I don't know, maybe it's my version of signifiers and things like that. But yeah, so that's how the monthly looks like. And for the rest of the year, it's just those holiday stickers, reminders that I need to do. And that's it. The 2024 inserts for the Traveler's Notebook, you can still use the last, you can still plan the last two weeks of December in the same insert, even if it's for 2024. I still put down these little minimal icon stickers. These stickers are from Crafts Delight. I like using stickers that are being sold by local artists here in the Philippines and I'm trying to use them in my pages which is not really a challenge because they're exactly what I need it to be and do and this is the more detailed things or it has the most detailed things that happen during the day I try to list everything as much as I can I am still trying I'm still kind of learning like to log the things because sometimes i feel like it's so routinary that i don't need to put them anymore but this side are the appointments places i have to be where my car has to be where my dad has to be these are the things that i need to do for the day these are the things i did for the day and i also kind of wanted to list down the things that i ate for the day i have no idea why but it seemed interesting uh, I also wanted to write down what I wore because I'm such a boring person that everything I own is almost plain and I wanted to just like put things on rotation and not use the same black shirt every time. I like how everything I need is here. <laughs> All the details. Like sometimes I don't even really remember what I did. And uh, this is like two weeks ago and I don't remember that I was able to do these things and it's very satisfying to see that i was able to accomplish all this and yeah this is the last this was last week yeah this was just that oh this was just last week and i can't fully remember the things that i did already these are just transfer stickers from mu lifestyle if and when i do decorate on the weeklies of my traveler's notebook i want to just use those transfer rub on stickers so it doesn't add weight or it doesn't add chunk to the pages so that's the plan more writing it's really not much if this is this week which reminds me because i have a date later with dar and sharon and i need to wrap up hurry up finish filming this and edit it so i can upload and share it as soon as i'm done this is the weekly insert of my traveler's notebook i've used this layout since last year i really like it it's very convenient for me to have something like this this is the olive passport and very similar to the regular size i don't think i have much here it's just it's just a gift card I got. And I was also able to get this um, translucent sticky note. And I have this on my inserts. Yeah, so just in case I need to write something down. So, so this is my yearly insert. I really have no idea what to put here yet, but that's fine this is my december i think i should zoom in more this is my december spread can you imagine having all these details readily available to you well to me just in case i need it and it's just something that calms me down like i know all the information i need i would really rather have something there and not need it then need it and it's not there i will i'll probably flip out like really badly so i again it's very similar to the ones in the standard size but you already knew that it's really more of the calming effect of rewriting things for me and 
honest to goodness, I enjoy playing with my pens, using my inks, and this is what I do during like downtime. Again, I have these little dot stickers. These are from handmade paper crafts by Anyang still. Again, now I don't have to write that I have to be in the office at these days. So these stickers help. It signifies, again, the days that I have to be in the office. On a clearer month with not much writing and no decor yet. Apparently, it's the only decor I have. So with no decor yet, this is how it looks like. And it's very, very convenient to have these dot stickers because you know that I already have work on those days without even having to write them down. I still bought these holiday stickers and I plotted down oh why is this red I don't know anyway I plotted these down on the days already maybe if you were considering just planning on a passport size I hope this gives you like an idea that you can even using these just just these two inserts and yeah, I still want to use this as a cash flow or expense tracker. And like the regular size, the 2024 insert has the last two weeks of December, so you can still use it. And this is how it looks. I, but this time I only have like two columns for it. So it's just appointments, things I need to do and things I did. That's all. So if you want a more concise like planner i guess this would be it for me but i have so much like standard covers and i really like using them so it's just me it's not necessary to have this much planners at least for me all i'm saying it's for me i don't think i need more than one trust me i have another thing to talk about later but I like the idea of being able to share layouts in different systems. Maybe if that makes any... Anyway, so I like making layouts in different systems. I like playing with planners. And I hope this also helps you figure out that maybe it's an idea that you didn't think of yet. So, yeah, it can work. So I, I think I've mentioned that I really don't mind like striking through things... I can just have that there if it's cancelled or changed because things do change. And this is for the last week of December. I really don't think I'd be decorating this much here. Just more stickers. These work stickers, these are from on the dot ph, another local sell sticker seller here in Manila. I like how minimal this is. I like how like basic and clean it seems because in my head it's like jumbled up and if i write it down it has a semblance of order and stuff like that so that's it for january you're gonna see that i also plotted these now these are for birthdays now and these are work so yeah it's kind of fun so this is my sister's sister-in-law's birthday my best friend, my niece. So I still have that drawn line just to cut it in two columns. And that's it for the insert. I have a couple of stickers here. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be using them, like these ones. These are the stickers from Handmade Paper Crafts by Anyang. I just cut the borders out so it actually fits into this leather sleeve that I have. And that's all I need. The function. I also have the sleeve and the pencil board. So if you really want to go basic, bare, like minimal on the planner, this is what I would bring and, and just stuff it in my bag and I'll be fine. I think one of the reasons why I also got the translucent, um, the translucent sticky note is that for whatever pen and I don't want to mess up my planner, I can just use that and write on it and stick it on the page and i'll be fine when i get home so that is it for the traveler's notebook planners but i also wanted like a quick 
side note, I know this is probably gonna mess things up, but I hope you remember that I also got the take a note in B6. I was not planning on getting this, but when I saw the grid size and the layout, I was immediately smitten. I don't normally plan on a look at that. I don't normally plan on a book, and this is the first time I'm gonna be doing it. Again, it's not necessary, but I want to do it because it's fun. It's a hobby. I like playing with stickers. In no way am I telling you to get more than one planner, or nor am I telling you to stick to one planner. I mean, if it works for you, you do you. But this, particularly for me, is really fun, and I'm doing it for me. So this is going to be a quick flip through because I don't have much in it yet. So I was trying to figure out first. So I, I, yeah, this I still do not know what to put in here, especially since, well, it should be an expense tracker, but we'll see. The monthly, this is how I did my monthly. Again, I also put those little dot stickers to signify work, but if it's going to be a planner, I guess I would need that. And this is how a clean month would start out. Like the dots for days that I have to be in the office again. And it goes through this... No, not December. It goes through March 2025. So, yeah. This is the first week that I have used the Take a Note in the B6. I kind of followed my usual planning style. So, the first part are appointments and where I have to be. The second part here are the things that I need to do. And the third part here are the things that I was able to do on that day. I am still not sure what I want to put on the on like on here. I don't know if I want to journal, if I want to stick things. Because if this is a planner, I do not want it chunky, heavy. But since it's a home planner, like for fun planner, I'm also thinking of, like sticking things in I, I really don't know yet but as a planner if you wanted an idea on how to use it i feel like this would have been a great like alternative for someone who wants something smaller you don't necessarily have to write as small as i do but when i saw the grid size i immediately immediately wanted it even if i don't need another planner i still got it because I, I really love it. I mean, I don't know how else to tell you, but I really absolutely love it. I love the size. I love the layout. And yeah, I'm still thinking of what to do here. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I considered like journaling and planning in one book, I, I might have seriously used this because after all the weeks are done, you have blank. Well, not blank, sorry. But you have blank grid pages. And it's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, I really would consider this as a memory-keeping slash planner journal for me. If I just want to have one book for everything, this would probably be it. I do not know how to use the bottom part just yet maybe I'll, I'll still figure it out as the days go by because this is the first time I when the B6 was released last year I didn't even bother to be honest because I knew I was going to get the A5 and the A6 for whatever reason but I was going to get those when Anna had this displayed in Planner Con Anna is the owner of Stationery cafe.com who is also the official retailer here in manila for the take note planners when she had this on display i did not want to open it because i didn't want to be tempted because i'm easily tempted anyway so i just gave in and eventually i got it and here we are again do i need it no did i want it yes so here i will get back to you guys when i think of a way how to utilize the lower part but I am looking forward to using the blank grid pages maybe for my YouTube content ideas. 
I'm really not sure, but at least I have space in this planner for me to sort things out in my head, like what to talk about, what topics, what I need to address, what I'll be needing, what I used, what worked, and what didn't work. Again, this is all in my head right now, and it would ha be great to have a space to like just put everything down. Because I really am trying to talk more and create more content here on youtube because i'm really more of an instagram person but let's see where it goes so far i'm still enjoying it and that's why i keep doing it most of the time on the last page of a book i always use it as an ink test page so here you can see like writing samples and ink samples of what i've used and how inks react on the paper on the pages of this planner so i know that these are safe inks and these are the inks that i normally use anyway so this year i got the a6 and the a5 take a note planners and i wasn't really sure on what the purpose was exactly going to be so i tried out what it would feel like if i even planned on the first month so this is my december spread it's it feels more homey it feels more personal than just work because the schedules here are like with friends with family and nothing about work come to think about it yeah there's nothing about work here which is very nice and comforting so i considered this as my memory keeping journal but then there would be days that I'd probably have much to write, so I switched it out into my, I don't know what to call this, but I wanted the creative writing space. Like when I see nice quotes online, when I see nice poems, when I see nice anything written that, like, I don't know how to explain it. Anything written that just hits me, I want to put it here. So this is what this journal is going to be all about. I want a creative space. I want maybe to collage, just to write. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else, but it makes sense to me. So I want this to be a, not a happy book, but I really don't know how to explain it. But if you read the things that I saw online, I would write them down. And it would be really nice to look back on the pages instead of online. And that's what I want this book to be. It doesn't necessarily have to follow the days. But I would definitely want to have a book of 365 days. 364, 365 quotes that I know that made me feel something happy or yeah, something like that. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that, that's how I want this book to be. I think that's why it's all feel-good things written here. And that's what I intend to do for January as well. So I wrote, the, again, this is something I saw online. So it says, in 2024, may we find the time to be happy and not just strong. All I knew is that I wouldn't be here if I didn't have a very strong support group around me. Like, they weren't a lot. I, I was never really the type to have that much friends sure i'd say hi to you if i'd see you but it was more unlike the people who really 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 knew me and what i've been through and these are the people are that I, I swear i could i wouldn't be here if they weren't patient enough with me because i'm not easy to deal with i normally shut down when yeah, I, I think I shut down. I'm like the type who shuts down when I can't handle things anymore. I'm very quiet. I hope it gives you a quick insight on why I need something like this. I get to use my stickers, my washi tapes, my stamps, and I can just get creative in these pages. So I guess this is going to be a feel-good journal book log. I still have like 
I'm forever gonna have these pages at the back. So these are the inks, swatches, and how it reacts on the paper. And I love it just the same. Next, I'm gonna talk about the, this is the A5. Wait, just give me a moment. This is the A5 now. I use the A5 as my memory keeping journal for 2024. I used this last 2020. Yeah, I first used this 2020 and I missed it so much. I really enjoy the layout. I love everything about it. I For this year, I went back to my two original choices, which is the... Take a note planner and the nothing planner. I'll talk about this after this one. But if I were going to rank what I really needed for the day, or well, for journaling, I would have stuck with these two books already. I just wanted the A6 so badly, so I just made something use of it. So this is my... I don't... I am still thinking if I'm going to use my leather covers. I don't know. But I've, I don't know, I have like this whole clear plastic vibe thing going on. Since this is going to be my memory keeping journal, this will definitely be a cash flow expenses because I'm going to see like how much I spent on food, on stationery, on bags, on shoes. Oh my, yeah. I do not want to set on attainable goals or crazy goals, but I do want to be more conscious of the things that I spend on and not just impulse by every nice thing that I see and l let's see how long in life I can go through that. So again, I wasn't really sure which book would be which. So I tried planning on this also. This has work and personal life plans just to figure out the layout of what i wanted to do about it i also use minimal stickers and i have really missed using stickers i don't know why so when i decided that this was going to be a memory keeping journal this is how i intended to use it i would always put the i would always put the inks and the pens that i used for the month and it helps me remember what I did or what is inked in the pen even. So I have this on the months. I have like little snippets or things for the day that it happened. So it's like a table of contents for that day. I don't know, for that day. And you're going to see that. Yeah. Oh, and I also have this belief. Well, not belief or mantra. I, d I don't know what you call it, but it's romanticize your life. To celebrate yourself, make the most of the ordinary day, feel extraordinary, creating pleasant and comforting spaces for myself. It's a mindset of gratitude, doing activities that make me smile and feel inspired because I need this. And if you needed to hear that too, I hope that is a very comforting hug from the stationary community. But that's what I get from all of you from this community from all the crazy stationary hoarding maybe there's something wrong with me i don't know but i like very much where i am right now the peace the calm that i am in i want to celebrate the small wins and i'm not talking about all i'm saying is now i want to enjoy that cup of coffee that cute dog that i saw so i want to remember the nice things and that's what I want to put in this journal this that was the idea as well why I thought the a6 take a note wouldn't work because I needed a bigger space because if the idea is to put more pictures then I definitely would need space this is my first spread on the take a note a5 I love it. Not the spread, but I, I love like the things that I can do with the page. I love that I don't have to be so stressed out to fill an entire thing. Because you have to admit, my handwriting is so small that it takes so much 
to fill in a page but this is how it is so i really really had fun taking photos with my family we haven't done this in a while like i still have other photos but these were like the crazy photos we took during the new year and it was nice to see us complete as much as we can get because i still have brother i still have a brother in canada who wasn't able to come home for christmas but there and then i do not normally wear pink actually this is the first thing i have in pink maybe anyway so this i don't usually wear pink really so i wanted to take a photo of it again it's really celebrating life I mean, it's not a big deal, but it was a big deal for me, and it doesn't affect anyone else. So I don't see why this would not be a good idea for the year. I have been craving for steak so badly that um, we ended up in Chibo in Glorieta. I knew I wouldn't be able to finish the entire thing anyway, so I was glad that he was able to eat like more than half of it because i just really really wanted and craving for steak and i wanted the salmon pasta really badly so it was more of like a craving thing going on to take a photo of the spinach dip bread thing and yeah well there so that's that and then here just the sticker and me contemplating on what bag to buy or trying not to buy a bag and we talk about bags again. Maybe if I talk about it enough, I'll stop wanting it so much. But really, since I'm turning, oh God, I'm turning 40 this year. And I wanted to get a really nice bag for myself. So I was thinking of, I really wanted a Chanel mini, like the small ones. I never really had a thing for like bigger shoulder or bigger crossbody bags. But I knew I wanted the Chanel mini. I wasn't able to decide yet if I wanted the square or the rectangle. I'm sorry, I know this is not a bag or luxury bag channel, but that's one of the things that I really want. So I'm still deciding on whether to get it in the square or the rectangle, in black or in red. I cannot get all four. That does not make sense. But I am just sharing, I guess, what I'm planning for the year. There, Surprisingly, it wasn't as traffic during this day that i was able to get coffee from starbucks and enjoy it so there was a new drink it's called vienna creamy latte and it was sweet so it was pretty good but i still prefer caravan black but it's further down the block so i still have two pages to fill out well two days to fill out for the week but that is what the take a note a5 is for me I also have like a test, an ink test page. I'm planning to just use one color of ink per book. Like, so if this is the journal, if this is my memory keeping, you'll see the ink is in green. So it's going to be in different shades of green. It doesn't have to be like one like ink green, but you know what I mean. So this is what the ink looks like. This is how it swatches when I use stamps. So I'm excited to use that as well. And this is the book where I have it logged. Uh, the restaurants for 2024, stationery for 2024, and shopping for 2024. I like listing this down. One thing that I really like, which I'll talk about in the next book, uh, one thing I really like is having a list like this makes it so much easier to think like where am I going to eat next because I already have a list from last year of the restaurants I ate at and looking back at it 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 takes out the stress of because every lunchtime when we go out to eat he would ask me where do you want to go where do you want to eat and my automatic reply is it's up to you you're driving or we're walking but I don't know, he, he gets all, like, it grinds his gears so badly when I can't decide where to eat. But that, that, that's just one of the funny things. So I have that. And that's it for my take a note in A5. Last 
but not the least, this is the Nothing Planner. I know it's in pink, right? <laughs> this is the Nothing Planner. And I use this for... I really need to start naming things because I... I got this from National Taiwan University. They sent a nice postcard. So I'm keeping this here. I also have it. I also have that list on this page. On this book, I'm sorry. So, But I also included the books I read. Restaurants and things I bought. It's a very collective thing this time. Again, I still don't know what to do with this section of the book. It's always this. Now, I tried to use this as a... Not really a planner, but like... Yeah, that, that whole work and life thing. I also have a habit tracker, which I think I would keep throughout the year. There are times that my handwriting is different. Like, sometimes I want it floating. <laughs> Like in between both lines, and there are times I just want it like fixed on the line. So I decided to use that kind of writing in this book so I remember what it looks like. I know it sounds really funny saying I need to remember how it looks like, but I like my books to be like uniform. So I also have like ink swatches here of what pen and what ink. I used and it's very helpful so there you can see those are habits I track so since the uh, nothing planner has these two slots so I decided to make it a.m. and p.m. for everything so did I read in the morning did I read in the evening it's very helpful for me I want to see the things I it shows me how I spend my days and it's not bad so yeah more things but there these are things that i enjoy really so even if it's r already written in my traveler's notebook i really do not mind having it here because again i i really enjoy writing so that's that for the monthly and i don't yeah i haven't filled out january yet i wanted this mainly for daily writing i don't know how to call it but it's like these are the things in my head like mental clutter that, that's i think that's my word now for everything that's going in my head that i can't explain so it's mental clutter all written down and now it's not in my head does that make sense well it makes sense to me so these are the most random whatever things in my head that are stuck and it's all out now. It helps. Like, I'm not anymore bothered by things like this. Or, I don't know. It's just very convenient to have. It's very helpful. It's very useful for me, again. And this is why I wanted the Nothing Planner in the vertical layout. So, this is how it is bare. And this is how it is when I fill it out. I also have, oops, ignore me. I also have like an ink swatch. This was before I had the idea of just using one ink color for the book. Part of this book, it has like Gantt charts at the back. Uh, before I get to that, it has dated Gantt charts. And I don't know what to fill it up with yet. But definitely, I made my 2023 like a look back onto 2023 so these are the gifts that i got throughout the year not necessarily christmas gifts but i don't know if you like get it but every time people give me gifts it makes me really excited because i am amazed at how much people remember i like things like i don't know like my cousin sent me harry potter food seasoning he sent me oh 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 there was one time i was looking for um chinese seasonings and he sent me like three or four bottles of seasonings directly from taiwan and i was so so happy and i was excited to cook gudatama socks i mean and a gudatama cake 
it's not I think it's more of that people know what I like and that's what really I don't know means a lot to me I'm such a I'm a sentimental sap okay I'm not pretending I'm not I've been looking for nice like yoga pants he got me lululemon pants when he was out of the country and th- those small things and my friends got me harry potter things they got me moomin things i mean i really honestly it's not like what the gift is it's the actual th- i i it's really more on that they remembered the little things that i like and that gets me really that gets me so i also wanted to put down a list of the bags that i have i know i've neglected most of these and thank god they're still okay when i got back and i also have a lust list of the bags that i want and this is what helps me keep on track and not just buy any random good looking ah nice bag that i want because I already know what I need and want so I can easily resist temptation like it's like a mental checklist if it's not leather I'm not buying it because I am I think I'm good with canvas bags except the Celine but see I I haven't bought a Celine bag yet and that's helping I also made a list of the books that I read last year and I hope I'm really happy with the amount of books that I read because I haven't been reading since years back. And then I was so glad that I was able to get uh, a Kindle again because the Kindle that I had before was the keyboard Kindle and it didn't have any backlight to it. So I couldn't read at night unlike this one. It already has a uh, backlight on its own. So I don't need to have a lamp on to read and there i'm really excited that i get to use this often now i can also bring it everywhere i go because it i can just easily stuff this in my bag it fits my bag and i bring it everywhere so there i am currently well i'm gonna start reading a book by lynn painter it's better than the movie so if you've read this let me know if you like it and if you haven't, I'll let you know if I like it. But I'm really more into the chick lit, light reading, romance kind of thing, thriller romance. But yeah, the last thing I want to read are like economics, calculus books. So no thanks. I, I, I think I'm done with that already. But again, this is my nothing planner for 2024. And that is how I have set up my 2024 planners and journals and all of the good stationary things that are here so if you've finished this entire long video thank you so much for watching and please let me know what other topics you want me to talk about do you want like chatty videos because i'm kind of getting the hang of it i'm just trying not to overshare because it's kind of embarrassing but yeah so please let me know if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching happy new year guys bye